and information. Fantastic. Here we go. And as promised, it's 430 on the dot. We're going to start. Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, students in Broward County. Such a pleasure to see you here today. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule. My name is Tron LePet, Operations Lead here at Bridge to Life, your local college access network. And I know we still have some folks joining us. This is great. So just one quick reminder for those who just joined, we're asking that you put your school name and grade level in the chat. We want to know who you are, where you're from, and we just want to celebrate you being here today. We have a jam-packed schedule for you, but we're going to try to get all this information out as quickly as possible, as soon as possible. So a few of you are probably wondering, what is Bridge to Life? What, what is this all about? I've never heard of this. And maybe a few of you have, and that's great. Um, Bridge to Life is your local college access network. And we're here essentially to serve our community, to serve uh, students like yourselves. We want to focus on your needs, your goals, and provide as many resources as possible. As a matter of fact, our primary goal is closing the equity gap for post-secondary attainment at a systems level, right? Because everything kind of works in that system while at the same time piloting interventions to help students in the here and now. This is what LCANs do and we are your local college access network. This meeting is our monthly meeting and it's called Student Success Network. So what, this, what do we do in this meeting? What we do is Throughout the day, you guys are getting tons of information. It's valuable. There's a lot of resources, but you're also like focusing on school, right? You're also focusing on your homework, classwork, all that good stuff. So we want to take a little bit of time each month to walk through some of those resources, walk through it slowly, carefully, give you some time to digest it, ask questions, and then provide you with more points of contact, subject matter experts to address things such as volunteering, scholarships, financial aid, career paths, career ladders, uh, town halls. And we also have some incentives baked into all of this. So that's what this meeting's all about. It's for you, so spread the word. All right, we're gonna continue on, moving on to our next item of business, which would be our agenda for today. Again, we have some special guest speakers with us. Uh, on with us is Carol Lopez. She's going to talk about all things Brace CCLR. We also have your student advisor. We have George. We have George Altuna. He's going to talk to you uh, about the student advisor, his role as student advisor to the school board. Find out what's happening in your school district. Uh, we have a really neat opportunity for many of you, especially if you have some digital design chops. Uh, then we're going to go through some financial aid. There's an awesome, awesome, awesome challenge that we have prepared if you want to win some money, some moolah, $20. Uh, dual enrollment. I know that we have ninth graders on, 10th graders, 11th graders. Well, you're in luck. Uh, you're going to hear from one of our dual enrollment representatives here at Broward College. Uh, they're going to talk to you about the dual enrollment process. And if you have questions, this would be a great time to ask some of those questions. Again, we ask that you put all your questions in the chat. Uh, next up, an amazing opportunity with a company called Learn to Be. Uh, this is free one-on-one -on -one online tutoring. Um, you want to help somebody tutor, right? That, that opportunity is there. If you need tutoring, we can help you with, there, with that as well. Juliet Patino is here. Thank you so much, Juliet, for joining us. And then we have another special opportunity, a challenge, uh, so you can win some more money, right? So we're just loading you up with money here. So again, thank you so much for joining. All right, let's get started. I kind of already went over the why we're here, but I know we had a few other folks who just joined us, so I'll probably touch that at the end. Let's move on to our next item of business. And with that being said, right on time, Carol, I told you right on time, we have Carol Lopez, who's going to talk all things CCLR. Trust me, you students, you hear from Carol all the time. She's sending information, links, resources your way. And Carol is just such a bright spirit to work with. Carol, I'm going to stop talking and pass the mic over to you students. Take notes and take heed. Floor is yours, Carol. Well, thank you, Tron, for that great introduction. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Carol Lopez, and I am the supervisor for college and career readiness for Broward County Public School. And what does that mean to you guys? It just means that I try to oversee everything that's post-secondary. As you all know, 
our strategic plan here in Broward County Public Schools is to make sure that everybody has a plan after they graduate high school. So we call that the four E's. So either you enroll in college, a technical uh, certificate, a two-year program, four-year program, um, apprenticeship, that's enrolling in something or employ, go straight into work after you leave high school. But knowing that with employment, you still may need to have some type of uh, certificate in order to move up in your employment. We also want you to explore through a gap year. And that doesn't mean just going off to Europe backpacking. It means to actually have a gap year with different opportunities. And then, of course, um, enlist. So most of you, uh, some of you guys will enlist in our military services, but we want to make sure that all of you guys are open to that plan, know that there's something there for you. And what we like to do in um, the college and career department is make sure that we provide you all those opportunities. We talk to your brace advisors and your school counselors to for them to know the opportunities and then in turn, um, send them over to you. So I'm not sure who's sharing Tron, but I see like a term system, Broward registration system information on, on there. Um, so if somebody can stop sharing, I think we may be able to see some dual. Yeah, thank you so that. much. So uh, yeah, yeah old Dallas, if you wouldn't, if you could uh, hold off on sharing your screen at the moment. Um, so thank you so it's much. Like, it's like that. a term system, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So uh, the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys that we did yesterday that um, I know that uh, George was on yesterday. We also do something with Broward Bridge to Life and another county. We do what is called the, okay, this is like official tissue, the college and career corner where we talk to you every single Wednesday, rain or shine, unless we don't have school, um, on everything college and career readiness, from reading an award letter to military options to financial aid, um, you name it, we're going to cover it, and it's live. So there's actually somebody on there that's live, and then there's people in the back that are answering questions. So please, every single Wednesday, we put it out there um, uh, every single Single Wednesday, there's a, there's a different topic. So make sure that you, uh, if you don't know where to find that, BrowardSchools.com slash brace will offer you all the, all the uh, topics. And then what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put something in the chat, which is our toolkit. If you are not yet part of our Canvas toolkit, we don't want to call it a course because we're not giving you guys any grades or anything like that. It's a matter where we're sharing information scholarships, um, all these, you know, the SSN networks, if we're having a college and career corner, if we have something, an internship, an apprenticeship, it is all being shared in this specific um, toolkit. Like, again, I don't want to call it a corner. Every single day we're updating this. So again, it is important. If you want to be in the know of what everything college and career readiness is, please make sure that you link to this Canvas toolkit. Um, another thing that I want to talk about is FAFSA. So I just want to see in the chat, who knows when FAFSA opens? Let's see when that is. Anybody can tell me because it's coming up pretty soon and I don't see the chat moving. Uh, do I see anything, Tron? Do I see anything? October 1st, Chanel, yes. So October 1st is FAFSA season, and we are going to have live opportunities work in our college and career corner to make sure that you and your parents are ready for FAFSA. So the first thing you want to definitely do is make sure that you have your FSA ID ready. And in our in our www.robertschools.com slash brace, we have cheat sheets on how to do that because we want you to come in to the FAFSA lives already with that ID for yourself and your parents. And then what we're going to do is go through the FAFSA and any questions, doesn't matter how big or small, we're going to have experts in the back, over 25 experts from different higher ed institutions, helping you and your parent answer that question. It is completely confidential. So if you do not know about the FAFSA, you better to ask somebody because this is your federal free um, application for free money. And some scholarships are attached if you do the FAFSA. So you want to make sure seniors, this is for seniors specifically. So some of you guys were like October, October what? It is for seniors to make sure that you do your FAFSA. I know that some of our partners are doing like a FAFSA a madness and 
uh, all kinds of people. Remember that you do not have to pay to do your FAFSA. So if there's a website that says pay $50 to complete your FAFSA, that is a scam and you don't want to do that. So something to look out for, FAFSA and Bright Futures both open up October 1st. And honestly, Bright Futures, the application takes like 10 minutes and you just have to do it one time. You may not qualify for that right now, seniors, but maybe by the end of your senior year, you will qualify for it. And it doesn't matter. It's not just about those kids that have a 4.0 GPA. It's about those kids that are that have technical industry certification and you can go to college for free if you do your bright future. So I recommend that everybody do their bright futures and see what happens. Um, and then one big, big announcement, and I don't know if I'm stealing anybody's thunder, but Broward Bridge to Life with our um, partners at Broward Education Foundation and Broward County Public Schools, we are finally, after three years, having an in-person college fair at Nova Southeastern University. So we're expecting over 100 colleges and universities to be there. It is 100% free. It is from 6 to 8 p.m. on October 27th. So mark your calendar, October 27th, in-person college fair. And the last time that we had an in-person college fair, we had over 5,000 students. So make sure you pre-register, um, get there early. You definitely don't wanna be late. There's gonna be tons of information and there's even gonna be scholarships that are gonna be giving away that night. Make sure you do your homework. And how do you do your homework, right? How do you do your homework for a college fair? And that's where Naviance comes in because you can do the college search and um, Dory, it's at Nova Southeastern University um, in Davie. Um, but uh, back to using your resources, Broward County Public Schools has Naviance. And hopefully all of you guys are familiar with it. It's a platform for grades six through 12. And if you don't know what college you want to go to, you can do the college uh, super match. And then you see kind of like, okay, I want to go to a college that is HBCU. And I want to go to a college that has remedial services. And I want to go to a college that has childcare. And I want to go to a college that has um, a division one football team or whatever. You put it in there in Naviance and it'll tell you what are the best colleges suited for you? And then when you go to the college fair, then you should be able to hit those colleges up first to see what are the right ones for you, which one kind of you 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 vibe with. So again, um, make sure that if you haven't uh, yet gone into your Naviance account that you do. And the next reason, if you don't hear anything what I'm saying today is that there is free money on the table for you. So in Naviance, we have a scholarship tab where we put in all of our local scholarships. And when I tell you every single day, we're getting a scholarship and we put them all there. And if people haven't, last year we had left over, I mean, I think over like $30 million on the table on, of free money that was uncollected because students were just not filling out scholarships. And there are scholarships that you don't even need to do a, a recommend, uh, recommendation letter or do an essay. They're just filling something out. And the people that know that just constantly are getting the scholarships. But when I tell you that there's so much money left on the table because people are not doing scholarships. So go into Naviance, go into the scholarships tab, and that should be your part-time job, full-time job is filling out those scholarships. So again, I will put, do we enroll to the course on the campus access? Yes, enroll in the course because you'll get everything like up to date. We're constantly adding everything on there. So the course is on there. Um, go into Naviance for scholarships, October 27th, college fair. Don't forget our college and career corner every single Wednesday, six to seven. It is a party. Bright Futures, FAFSA, October 1st, and continue to do these uh, student success network meetings because you're going to get so much information. You are literally listening from the experts. These are the people that you want to listen to. And then you'll be able to build networks, build relationships, and be in the know of what's going on. So be proactive about your education. This is yours, your future. So 
guess what? You need to be the one that's like, how can I get this? What can I do this? So this is all about you. I highly recommend that you tune into all of our stuff and make it happen because the success is up to you. We're going to give you every resource, but in order for you to be successful, you're going to have to want it. Not us. We want it for everybody. So I know that already they're giving me the hook because I could talk forever, but um, Tron, I'll take it back to you and congratulations for all of you guys who are here at four o'clock. That is amazing. And continue to look out for yourself and your best interest. And we will continue to feed you all the information that we have. All right. Bye. Carol, thank you so much. And students, um, she's going to drop some links in the chat. Please click on those links, sign up, register, everything you need to do. Again, we're delivering as many resources as we can for you. Carol, thank you again. Um, our partners over at the school district working hard for you. Um, speaking of Brace, uh, before we hear from George Altuna, your student advisor, we're actually going to hear from one of your Brace cadets. Um, and someone put in the energy, what is on Thursday? This is on Thursday, the Student Success Network meeting uh, every fourth Thursday of the month at 4.30. So um, welcome, you're here now. Uh, so we're going to hear from one of your Brace cadets, Chanel C., who has a, a few district-wide updates. Welcome, Chanel. How are you? Hi guys, I'm great. How are you, Tron? Doing just fine. Students, uh, Chanel's gonna tell you a little bit about the Brace Cadets, who they are, and then she has some amazing announcements. Chanel, I'm gonna stop and let you go. The floor is okay. yours. Thank you. So I just have just a couple of announcements to make, okay? So first of all, I would like to say I'm Chanel. Um, I want to let you know that we have officially started like up and running our projects now. So make sure to reach out to your fellow Brace Cadets at your school. Um, a lot of these projects consist of FAFSA by future scholarships, all things college and career readiness. So those are a lot of resources available to you right there at your schools, um, as well as the fact that we have our own Instagram page, which is Brace Cadets. If you reach out to there, there's a variety of resources on that Instagram page as well. And one last thing to, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> the link came through. And then what, one last thing to know is that we have officially started all of our projects. So these are all up and running at this point, I believe. And yeah, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you all have a great day. Chanel, I think that you, I think they don't know what Brace Cadets are. Oh. So I think it'd be a great idea for you to tell them about what is a Brace Cadet and the amazing leadership that you get mm -hmm. from being a Brace Cadet. I mean, okay. I'm a little partial and all, but. <laughs> so I'll start with, I'll say what a Brace Cadet means to me. So I'll give you just like a little bit of background what like made me want to become a Brace Cadet. So I wanted to, to become a Brace Cadet because I wanted a platform to help people become more prepared for college, right? Because at one point we were all online. There was like, we were all lost, right? And I was like, well, how am I about to move on from this point, right? So Brace Cadets gave me the platform to do that. So the Brace Cadet program itself is full of leadership, um, career readiness, college readiness. So my job is basically to help everybody like myself get to college. And that's kind of really cool. Um, Ms. Carol, do you want to add anything? No, so so Brace Cadets are uh, your own peers, grades 9 through 12th grade, that help influence and mentor uh, students at their schools in everything college and career. So Chanel's project may be on college. Some people may be like, I'm finding a, you know, a, a program that doesn't require a four-year degree. Some may focus on the military. Remember how we talked about the four E's? So it's really they have the, the open window to really influence their students uh, in their schools and on social media. So make sure you follow them on all social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. Um, and it is to influence other students to be college and career readiness. And it is honestly to take action because a lot of people talk to you guys, right? And you're like, ah, who am I going to listen to? We need you guys to take action. And so who do most students listen to their fellow peers. And that's why the Brace Cadets exist because we train them 
They get the information from the experts, even more experts than me. I can't even consider myself an expert. We bring all the experts in from around the world, really, because they've had people from all over, train them, get them ready to be leaders and to influence other students to take action in their post-secondary attainment. So Chanel, thank you so much for being a Brace Cadet. Thank you so much, Chanel, for joining and for the updates. Thank you, Carol, again. Uh, students, make sure you're taking notes, copious notes and uh, information links, they are in the chat. So again, we wanna thank our school district, our Brace Cadet team for joining us today. Okay, we have some more folks on the agenda. Uh, next up, we're gonna hear from your student advisor, George Altoona. He's gonna explain the role of the student advisor, what he's here to do. And if you haven't heard of him, if you haven't heard him speak, he has nothing but passion for his job, his role as your student advisor. And students, George is more than willing to connect with you. So here's a reminder for those of you who are 16 years of age or older, create those LinkedIn profiles if you don't have them already and connect with all of our guest speakers here today. Uh, reach out to them, network with them, and they'll be more than willing to assist. All right, here I go doing all the talking again. George, I see your camera's on, so I'm gonna stop and pass the mic over to your student advisor to the school board, the one and only George Altoona. The floor is yours. Thank you so much, Mr. LePet, and I wanna thank everyone for being here. Um, it's a great opportunity for the Bridge to Life offers to many students. So just by being here, you're already starting on that process on you know, ensuring that you're successful throughout your four high school years. Um, but my role as a student advisor, as the student advisor to the school board is to represent all 261,000 students in Broward County Public Schools to the school board of Broward County. Um, and the, that, that responsibility has general tasks and, and duties that I must fulfill, which include visiting schools, attending district events and conferences, and mainly direct, like directly engaging with students to get that feedback and those concerns and relay that of those to the school board. Um, as a student advisor, I am here to represent you and I am here to be your megaphone and your advocate to the school board to ensure that we are here as a student representation is present uh, at all levels of our district and so that we can work proactively to find solutions that you know, ensure that we are receiving the quality education that all Broward County Public School students deserve. Um, at least for some of the ongoing uh, opportunities across the district, I have many to present to you today. Uh, the first one and the one that I would I'd like to emphasize and advocate the most is serving on a school board committee or a school board advisory. So how the structure of the school board is set up is if you're an eligible voter, you can cast your vote uh, this November to elect a school board member. Out of those seats, there are seven school districts, meaning there are seven school board members, seven seats. Those seven people, additionally to two who represent a countywide level of the county, um, all make up the school board of Broward County. Those, not, those nine school board members elect a superintendent of schools that executes their, uh, their policies and kind of regulations and policies throughout the county. These, this board works alongside stakeholders and third parties, um, which include teachers, parents, students, private companies, nonprofits, and a wide variety and range of stakeholders that can provide input and a wide variety of diverse perspectives so that we can ensure that all the solutions and policies that are being brought forward to the board um, are, may, are ensuring that you know, solutions are, they're available for everyone. So the opportunity that I'm gonna present to you today is being, having the ability to, for me to appoint you as a student representative to this uh, advisory or this committee. And the board has a wide variety of ranges of committees. So um, the board, one of our committees is the diversity committee, which essentially focuses on ensuring that there's equity and, and, and no disparities in between the resources that schools and students have. We have the district advisory council, which uh, ensures that all school advisory councils, all school advisory forums are communicating between each other and providing that feedback back to the board and back to the district. We have the facilities task force, which 
um, ensures that all facilities issues are being brought to the board and and you know with fixed within a timely manner. There's such a wide variety of range be um, available for school board committees that you can serve on and. I am very excited to be able to present this opportunity to students and i'm eager to be able to um, get to connect with all of you so right now in the chat i'm going to I just linked a Microsoft form provided by myself in the district where you can voice your interest in serving on one of these committees. Um, again, I'd like to emphasize the importance of this opportunity because of the experience that you'll be receiving. Um, school board committees meet once a month uh, from about one to two hours, and we discuss a wide range of issues that are ongoing at the school district. And by serving as a student appointee, you get that firsthand experience on the the policies and the issues that are being brought to the board and you get to engage directly with many elected officials including school board members elect uh, state representatives uh, city commissioners and much more i i highly encourage this opportunity and i hope you consider serving as a student appointee um, at least for some of the external opportunities that I would like to advocate for is look into your state representative and some of the fellowships that they might be able to offer. Um, many state representatives currently have fellowship programs where they provide their students with a firsthand experience of how the legislature functions and what the legislature, uh, the, their role is here in the Florida uh, the Florida legislature. So specifically some of some roles that might um, or responsibilities that being a fellow might include are, you know, making graphics or advising the state representative on policy and communications. Um, but both of these opportunities really introduce you to the skills and the soft skills that the workforce is really in need of today. And I highly, highly encourage you to get involved and engage with other students and your community so that you can um, voice your concerns and ensure that student representation is available, not just at our district, but across the state of Florida. And with that, um, I'll yield back to Mr. LePet. And please, if you have any questions, I'll also put in the chat um, the my contact information so that if you have any questions or concerns for me, I am here to represent you and be your megaphone at the school board. I want to advocate for as many of you and I hope to be able to uh, engage with you and work with you in the future. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Awesome. Thank you so much, George. Can we show some love in the chat for your student advisor, George Altoona, uh, providing tons and tons more resources. Again, that's what you get when you come to these meetings or any meetings that we have with our partners, all we wanna do is provide you with resources. And George, uh, thank you so much. Get connected right now, students. Uh, put this, this is a great resume builder. Uh, this is a great way to give back to the community. And um, we just, we really appreciate George, your time and you being here. Stick around and maybe answer some questions if you have the time, George. Um, so thank you again. Students, we have some more opportunities for you coming up. We're gonna talk about it. And then at the end, we have another opportunity, another opportunity for you to make some extra money. First, do us a favor, follow us on IG. Our IG is at bridge to life SFL. Make sure to follow us there. We want you to get connected. Um, by the way, for everyone that's on our IG page, uh, you'll notice we have tons and tons of content. Well, here's the beauty about that content. Here's the cool thing. You are the ones who are creating it. Your peers are the ones that are creating this content. And here's our Instagram page, as you can see. Um, we have a picture of Yawande, who's one of our social media ambassadors, our digital content creators. All of this stuff is created by you, peers. Why? Because as Carol mentioned earlier, who knows better to talk to students? Who knows how to talk to students? You do, you know how to talk to your peers. So with regards to our opportunity here that I was referring to, we have an opportunity for you to join our social media ambassador team. That's right, we're looking for more of you. Where are you students? We want you to join us. Uh, if you scan that QR code, it's gonna take you to a digital form. Uh, you need to sign up using that form. All of the instructions are listed on our form. Do you have digital design chops? Do you have skills? Are you creative with TikTok dances, animation, music? All ideas are welcomed. 
we want you to join us and we're looking for as many students as possible. Now, you're going to apply and you're gonna submit some um, evidence and proof of your digital design skills. That's great. We'll take a look at it and we'll reach out to you one-on-one -on -one to kind of talk things through and then let you know if we're gonna move forward or not. Everything else that you need to know is on that form. So I'm gonna give you another five seconds. Take your phones out now, scan those QR codes, make sure to join us or follow us on IG. And again, we're looking for our digital design creators. We're looking for you, we need you. And this is, by the way, a paid opportunity. So not only do you get credit, right, for, for this being work experience, but you're also getting some money on top of that, right? So just another way that we're trying to help close that gap uh, with students out here and spread the information about all the resources we have. So I've spent enough time on that. We're gonna move right along with the show here. Um, as you know, as you know, this next month, October 1st, as Carol has already mentioned, October 1st, seniors, you can complete the FAFSA application. What you can do now is start working on your FSA ID. And what I'm gonna do is drop some links in the chat uh, for our seniors out there who are gonna start right away. Um, but in addition to um, FAFSA, we're also hosting a FAFSA challenge. As you can see, there's a QR code for you to scan. We've set aside $2,500 for this opportunity. How does it work? Complete your FAFSA, that's number one, um, and then submit the requisite proof. We need proof that you've completed it. And you will win a $20 e-gift card for completing your FAFSA. That's, it is that simple. Uh, this is the free application for federal student aid. Here's more information on our website, right? And it gives you a list of instructions that you need to follow, some more information, more detail. Here's the key too. If you are not a senior, but you help somebody else, you help a senior complete the FAFSA, <laughs> make sure to let us know as well, and we will award you as well. We want everybody in on this, but you need to make sure that you're following our instructions, that you're following the form, and that you most importantly sign up. We need proof that you completed the FAFSA, okay? So what you're seeing is on our website. And then if we go back to our slides, again, here is the QR code. I'm gonna give everybody another few seconds to scan that. And in the meantime, for those of you that may need some help with the FAFSA process, uh, I'm gonna drop some really helpful links in the chat. Um, again, the first thing you need to do is create your FSA ID. And if you're not a senior, then this may not apply to you right now, but it's good information to keep track of, right? To remember for when you do become a senior. So first thing you need to do is create your FSA ID. That is essentially your username and password. That's what you're gonna use in order to uh, sign your FAFSA document, all right? So there's a resource in the chat right now for troubleshooting user account password. Uh, username and password information. Sometimes, you know, you have a, a mother or father who has already done this process and then they run into an issue remembering their password. Well, easy way to troubleshoot that. Uh, we also have the full FAFSA process. So I just dropped that in the chat. Here goes a quick FAFSA overview. So if you just want a quick document to reference while you're working on the FAFSA, I'll drop that in the chat. And then I have one more link for you. Again, we're loading you up with tons and tons of resources. Here is a list of video links from our student, our federal student aid office that walks you through the FAFSA process. Click on those links and have a nice day. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to scan that QR code. We're moving right along with the agenda. Uh, we have another challenge to talk about at the end, another incentive. But as for right now, here's a great opportunity for those of you looking to expand your work portfolio, learn to be as a nonprofit organization bringing free one-on-one -on -one online tutoring to underserved youth around the U.S. They have opportunities galore for students whether you need tutoring or have a desire to tutor. Tutoring looks great on your resume, keep that in mind, and helps set you apart from the competition when you're applying to colleges, jobs, etc. So to tell you more about Learn to Be and everything they have to offer, is our very own good friend and awesome partner, Juliet Patino. Welcome, Juliet. Thank you so much for joining, and the floor is yours. Thank you so much for having me today. I appreciate it. I'm super excited to be here. Um, we have, um, I have, I just wanted to share uh, real quickly. Yawanda is um, 
part of our um, Learn to Be program. She actually leads a chapter at Broward College, and she um, has done an amazing job. She's actually Learn to Be's top chapter in the nation right now for high school students, um, rec recruiting high school students to tutor, and the number of hours that they have committed to serving students throughout the nation. So I just, I wanna do a shout out to her. She's done an amazing job. We've actually had a meeting with her yesterday and we want to replicate what she's doing right now at Broward College with her chapter to other chapters throughout the nation. So um, big shout out to her. Um, she's done amazing and thank you so much for all your support. Um, so I just wanna get started. Learn to Be is a nonprofit organization. We serve, um, we provide free one-on-one -on -one online tutoring to underserved youth around the nation. Um, we, our vision is that we want to increase, um, we want to live in a world where kids have access to great education, not just those families who can afford one. Um, we exist to make the lives of, um, of kids from uh, under-resourced communities easier, their opportunities greater, and their dreams bigger. And so when you become a tutor here with Learn to Be or you are using our services, we want to support you the entire way through and be um, an organization that is uh, proud and, and that you will be able to have the resources and engagement that you need to have um, to be successful in your education endeavors. Um, so who we serve. So our tutors serve students from K through 12. It's open throughout the United States. Um, we have students in every state um, and tutors in every state with the exception of Alaska. So we're working on that. Um, but we work with um, we work with families. Our students work with families. We work with other nonprofits throughout the United States that need services to um, that their students need services for tutoring. Um, we work with homeless youth, foster youth. Um, we work with um, a variety of different partners um, to serve our students. So our tutoring is very important to us. Um, all you need is a minimum of, um, all you need to uh, tutor your time is one to two times per week, um, 60 to 90 minutes. This is completely flexible. You set that, that schedule up yourself. Um, you also commit to at least one semester. So our program is very different than other tutoring opportunities where students are sometimes just connected every day to a different student. You are actually connected one-on-one -on -one with the same student each week. And this is really important. I think this, will, this helps build relationships. This helps build trust with your student. This helps build um, your commitment to um, your community service hours. Um, and it also um, allows you to develop a very um, a mentoring type of relationship with that student as well. That helps our students become successful. Um, anytime there's a mutual engagement um, between this tutor and student, we know that our, our student is gonna have more a higher success rate. Um, you work with the students between the ages of five to 18 on subjects that range from basic math and reading comprehension to chemistry and pre-calculus. You choose the subject that you feel that you are most, um, your, your strengths are in and that you feel more, more suited to, to tutor. Um, so that's another great option that we want to share with you. It is completely flexible and you create um, the, 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 um, the expectations of what you feel more, most comfortable with in your tutoring, um, experience. Um, and again, you know, our sessions are one-on-one, -on -one, um, because, you know, multiple studies show, um, tutoring works best in, when it's conducted in, within a private session. So that's why we do one-on-one, -on -one. um, we have, we provide tutor onboarding training, which is, um, it is optional, but it's highly recommended. You can attend an onboarding session. Um, we have uh, several throughout the month, each month, and they're great ways to learn about our portal, learn um, to hear from other tutors um, with that have, may have questions. And we also have a junior board that is on our um, tutor information session, and they are excellent at um, answering questions, sharing about um, their involvement, how long they've been tutoring, and they are actually part of a learn to be a leadership. So we provide that for you too. And, uh, and in a little bit, I'll share with you what, what some of those benefits are with working with, um, with being a tutor at learn to be um, We empower our volunteer tutors in high school and um, we 
and and all of our um, tutors are empowered through our staff, through engagement, through our junior board. Um, we are take a really strong initiative and in being supportive and helping you along the way as you're tutoring with your students, whatever we can do. Um, we've already to date, just to give you some examples, from 2008 when we started to 2019, we had only 20,000 hours uh, of tutoring um, tutoring hours. Today um, at Learn to Be, this year we're already at 45,000 hours. So we've um, tr grown over 200% within the last two years. And so we are seeing a very high demand of students needing tutoring. So if this is something that you're interested in, um, we, we want to um, have you be a part of it. I think it's a great opportunity for you um, in developing your community service hours and your leadership and um, getting more involved with your community. Um, we've also had, um, we've also shown our tutors have helped increase um, our students' GPA by over um, 15%. Um, and their grade point average by 1.6%. And those numbers, the new data is coming out and it is growing. So um, we just, I wanna just share that information with you about how important when you're a tutor, the impact that you make on that student's life and in their academics. So um, one of the great things that's in it for you is that uh, you're gonna change a kid's, uh, a kid's life for the better. By um, tutoring with us, you are, uh, within that first one to two sessions, you are already making an impact in their life and creating um, an opportunity for them to um, feel heard and supported with their academics. Um, you're building connections. So um, one of the great things is, you know, Learn to Be is a national organization. We serve students from all over the US. This helps broaden your perspective and it helps you to learn more about yourself and who you're being introduced for. So it, it opens up a, di a diverse group of individuals that you may not have the opportunity to, opportunity to meet. So um, a great diverse network of passionate individuals. All of our tutors are very passionate with what they do. Um, you receive community service hours, uh, letters of recommendation, and um, you begin to learn to build your resume, which is really important for um, community service. I'll share a real quick story with you. I have a daughter that's um, just graduated from high school. She's in college. But one of the things that you know I've always shared with my children in their volunteering efforts is that you make a commitment um, to volunteer that it's a longer commitment. So that's what's great about learn to be that commitment that you make it's showing college applications that you're not doing a, some um, volunteer opportunities that are more one off or um, is something that's you know you're just trying to get the community service hours when you show a commitment of long more than 20 20 hours of community service to one organization it really makes an impact. And you're able to also, you also have the opportunity to learn from that experience as well. So I wanna share that um, with you and we're here to support you with any of those questions that you may have about community service and what that looks like. Um, and then um, you also develop your leadership skills um, as a successful tutor and mentor to the students. So what are the expectations? You must be at least 14 years or older. You have, must be willing to commit to uh, one to two times a week for at least a minimum of a semester. Um, and then also be willing to put in the, uh, the work and the research for being a, 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 a tutor with us. Um, we are, I will be happy to put the, uh, the link in, um, provide the link for you to sign up. We also have a flyer. Um, and I will put my email and information in our link as well so that you can connect with me if you're interested in this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. No, Julia, thank you. Before you go, students, again, a great way to expand your work portfolio. Here's what we want to do. We want 10 students to sign up. Julia is going to drop that link in the chat in a second. We want 10 of you on here to sign up. I know there has to be at least 10 that needs some additional work experience. Uh, everything that you heard Julia talk about, it's a great way to start now. So students take advantage of this opportunity. We need 10 of you, 10 of you right now to sign up. As soon as you see that link, we want you to click on it and sign up, 10. Uh, you know what, I'll just pull the room and we have another uh, a challenge coming up students. So hang tight and then we're gonna hear 
first, uh, after this, we're going to hear from uh, our dual enrollment at Broward College. They're going to explain that process to you. Uh, so I know many of you are ninth, 10th, 11th graders. So that's coming up next. So just hang tight. And oh, there we go. The link is in the chat. You can apply now. Uh, uh, Juliet posted that link at 514. So if you just scroll up two posts, you'll see it. And she's also providing you with her email address. So students, take advantage of this. We need 10 of you. And we're going to check back in with Juliet to see how many of you actually signed up. But we're pushing this as much as we can, guys. It's a great opportunity. Juliet, thank you so much. Anything else that you wanted to add before we move on to our next presenter? Uh, no, thank you so much for having me. And I look forward to working with, um, with everyone here at Broward um, County. So again, um, I just, again, shout out to Yawanda for all of her hard work. And if you know, I, I'm going to call her out again to say that if if anyone wants to ask her about her experience, I'm sure she'd be happy to share it with you as well. So thank you so much for having me. And I look forward to everybody joining Learn to Be. Thank you so much, Juliet. And way to go, Yawande. I would usually put Yawande on the spot, but I'm not going to do it. I didn't prep her. So Yawande, I'm going to, I'm going to, you're off the hook. Um, and Lucas, Lucas says, thank you so much. Finally, I get to do something. You're welcome, Lucas. That's why we invite you guys to the Student Success Network meeting. All right, the opportunity is there in the chat. We have an opportunity now for you to hear about dual enrollment uh, from our Broward College Dual Enrollment Department, our program here. Take advantage of this. I, I don't even want to steal the thunder, but you guys know it doesn't cost you anything to, to, to take dual enrollment courses. Did you know that? Did you know those credits also transfer? Uh, to colleges and universities. So again, I'm not going to steal any thunder. I'm going to pass it over to my good friend, Odalis. After Odalis, we have another challenge and opportunity for you to win some money. So for those of you that are sticking around to the end, great job, very smart, brilliant. We're going to push that opportunity as well. And please don't forget about Juliet's uh, Learn to Be opportunity. Odalis, welcome and oh, the everybody. floor is all yours. Thank you very much for the wonderful introduction. Hello, everyone. My name is Odalis Garcia. I'm the dual enrollment coordinator for Broward College. And I want to say, first of all, that I love the energy of this group. Wonderful energy. I didn't know I needed to have some Cuban coffee right before the meeting to get similar energy, but I'll try my best. Uh, you're good, Odalis. <laughs> Anyway, um, just want to let you know, dual enrollment is free. Again, dual enrollment is free. Everything is free. Books for the students are free. Uh, tutoring for the student is free. Classes are free. Dual enrollment students pay zero. Actually, by the there's a statutory rule that dual enrollment students cannot pay anything, private schools, it doesn't matter, all of Broward County, if your school doesn't participate with their dual enrollment program, speak with your principal, let them know that you're interested. And again, it's completely free, books, everything. Um, all my three kids participated in the dual enrollment program. So I'm a big proponent. I love a dual enrollment. If you have a chance to go to our website, it's very informative. Uh, go to broward.edu forward slash dual. Uh, all of Broward College, the different departments, that's how you uh, get to them. You put broward.edu forward slash and whatever the department is, in this case is dual, D-U-A-L, if it's testing, testing, or whatever the case may be. Um, the only thing you need to do for dual enrollment is you need to have a 3.0 GPA, unweighted high school GPA. So technically, even sixth graders, if they have a high school GPA, they could participate in dual enrollment. Okay, we do have special programs that you could have a lower unweighted GPA, uh, 2.5, but regular dual enrollment students need a unweighted GPA of 3.0 uh, minimum. Also, if you go to the website, Broward.edu, and you scroll down, you will see the eligi eligibility requirements 
compile. You could link on that, uh, click on that, I'm sorry. And the eligibility requirements will tell you what uh, scores minimum you need in whatever area. You do need in Broward College to be college ready in all three areas, English, reading, and math. But you could mix and match. You could use English SAT. You could use the reading ACT. And you could use if you have a PERT score or take the Agriplace or Next Generation, which replaced the PERT as in this remote environment. We found it to be much more user friendly than the PERT for this remote environment. Um, maybe, I don't know, later on, maybe the PERT will come back. I have no idea. The testing center will know that. But you do need in all three areas to be college ready for our regular dual enrollment program, which you need the 3.0 GPA. Remember, we have special programs that might have different requirements. Um, always, always, always speak with your high school counselor if you're interested in doing dual enrollment. Remember, it's completely free for our students. If you're in a private school, in any school that you might be in, even your siblings might be able to do dual enrollment if they've taken advanced math or a, a foreign language. Those are, gives you high school GPA. So please let your parents know, let your siblings know. Definitely it's free for our students. Um, let's see. Um, and Odell, we, we actually yes. have a, a question in the chat. Uh, okay. The question is, is it too late to register for dual enrollment? And I think I'm gonna revise that question. When is the next dual enrollment application start date? Okay, April, October 6th is the next deadline for the spring term. The spring term starts in January. We have two major terms at Broward College. Fall, that starts in August. That's when, and thank you, Tron. Right there, you see the deadline dates. It's April, October 6th is the next deadline date that you need to worry about for spring term. Uh, fall term already started, and that was in April. We work way ahead. Uh, we will have summer due enrollment also. Again, everything is free, remember that. And registration starts October 26. Uh, the deadline October 6 is when you need to speak with your high school counselor. Let them know you're interested in doing enrollment. The high school counselor should know everything as far as if you have the minimum GPA requirement for the program that you want to get going. Uh, if you have the minimum test scores, if not, they'll give you the link of where you need to go to take the test, or if you already have the test, you don't need to test. Um, and then once everything is done and uh, you follow the steps that the, your high school counselor will give you, then you need to register for your classes. All of the enrollment classes are available for you to take provided you've met the prerequisite, Basically, the classes that need prerequisites are maybe math and science classes, some computer classes, but the rest don't need prerequisites. Uh, yeah. And your, the first day to register is October 26 for your spring classes, which is the next semester coming up, which starts in January. Okay. Um, make sure that you take advantage of the Learning Resource Center, the LRC which has free tutoring. Remember, dual enrollment students pay for nothing. So you have free tutoring uh, for dual enrollment students for their classes, English, math, anything that has uh, tutoring, the dual enrollment students could take and they could take full advantage of all the programs Broward College has to offer. Right. So, okay. And thank you very much for having me. Again, my name is Alice Garcia, and I'll put in the chat 
um, the link of our website and my email, just in case you might have any other questions, okay? Thank you. Oh, Dallas, thank you so much. Students, let's show Dallas some love in the chat. You're hearing directly from our dual enrollment department here at Broward College, in which we're connected or contracted with just about all of the schools here in Broward County Public Schools. So this again is a great opportunity to get in your college credit, to start college credits now. They will transfer to your public universities, post-secondary institutions. So it's a great opportunity. And like Dallas said, it's free, guys. It's completely free. If you're going to college or a post-secondary institution, you should sign up for dual enrollment courses, provided you meet the requirements, the eligibility requirements. And if you don't meet them now, don't worry. There's future opportunities. Okay, so sign up for dual enrollment. You're going to see the link Absolutely. in the description. Thank you very much, Tron. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, so as I promised, we have another opportunity and <laughs> a big shout out to everyone here who joined us this time. If this is your first time joining an SSN, this is your first time participating in an SSN, can you do me a favor? Everybody's still out there, can you do me a favor? Can you just put a yes in the chat, a Y in the chat? You can put a thumbs up reaction. If this is your first time joining, uh, being a part of the Student Success Network meeting, we want to know because, okay, all right, I see it pouring in the chat already. I see it happening in the chat already. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we thank you so much. Um, we're also curious to know, how did you hear about us? Did you receive an email? Did you get a phone call? Did a teacher tell you, tap you on the shoulder? Was it a student club, an organization? If you want to put that in the chat too, feel free. Whatever you want to write just to let us know. Emails. Okay, great, great, great. Fantastic. Well, you're here now, and that's what matters the most. And again, this is every Thursday of the month at 4.30 p.m., every fourth Thursday, excuse me, of the month at 4.30 p.m. If for any reason uh, we're not live, we'll send you a pre-recording and these meetings are recorded. Okay, I think y'all are ready to hear about this other challenge we have, another opportunity for you to make some money. Goodness gracious, we're just giving out money left to right. We wanna hear from you. We want you to submit a digital video, a video explaining what students should do to prepare for college and careers, what kind of study resources currently exist, what are some volunteer opportunities, which we discussed during this meeting, we have to talk about all of this during this meeting, and other resources. Here's the catch, the video should be 30 to 60 seconds long, and please be creative. If you wanna do a TikTok dance, that's fine. Animation, music, you wanna add your own music, great. All ideas are welcome, but be creative, that's the key to this. You guys know what appeals to your peers the most. So that's what we're looking for. We love learning from you. The QR code is on the screen. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds to take uh, scan that QR code. And what's the prize or not? I think someone just asked me that, I heard it. Well, we're giving away two $50 e-gift cards, two $50 e-gift cards for the best video. We're gonna review that. And we'll get back to you um, as soon as we start looking over all of your videos, but submit that, scan the QR code and sign up. This is something that we typically do during our SSNs. We have tons of chat raffle giveaways, other monetary incentives, and that's just another reason that we want you to come back, but also for the resources. And as you can see, uh, we have tons of resources lined up for you. Again, I'm gonna give this another five seconds, another five seconds, and by the way, Odalis put her email address in the chat. So if you have any specific questions regarding dual enrollment, look in the chat right now, copy that email address, write it down, take a picture, whatever you need to do. And students, please take advantage of everything we talked about here today. This is your Student Success Network meeting. This is why we meet. We want you to understand what these resources are. And most importantly, most importantly, take advantage of it, all right? So scan that QR code, guys and start submitting your video challenges. I think I gave everyone enough time to scan the QR code, so I don't think I need to push that anymore. We have some more information coming up for you. For those of you who are interested in cyber careers, you're gonna hear from the cyber guru himself, Simply Cyber, his name is Dr. Gerald Azure, and he's gonna be on with us on October 26th at 6 p.m. This is the digital world we're living in. There are lucrative careers in the cyberspace and we want you to take advantage of it even if you have an interest you're not sure log on join us and learn a little bit more about cybersecurity. all right so scan that qr code 
Next up, you heard about the big college fair. Carol already talked about that earlier, but for those of you that may not have heard it, every year we used to do these big college fairs at Nova Southeastern University. For the past two years, for obvious reasons, COVID, et cetera, we haven't been able to do them, but the college fair is back. So it's gonna be October 27th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in person at Nova Southeastern University, which is in Davie, Florida. And you're gonna have an opportunity to meet with recruiters, admissions reps, directors of admissions from your top universities, not only here in the state of Florida, but outside of Florida. We even have some Ivy League schools coming to us. There's gonna be a lot of folks here. It's a fun and just vibrant event. We want you to be there to learn as much as you can from those universities. Now, if you're a senior, you should already be thinking about that kind of stuff. But if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, why not take this opportunity to get some more information? Find out what those universities have to offer you. You heard Carol mention it earlier. She talked about research. This is the easiest way to research. Why? Because they're all gonna be here on October 27th at Nova Southeastern University. Scan that QR code as well so you can sign up for that. We wanna see you there. And then last, but certainly not least, please make sure to follow us on IG. If you've appreciated anything we said today, if you found this to be beneficial whatsoever in any kind of way, follow us on IG. We're gonna constantly push and promote all of these events, incentives, challenges, you name it. We're gonna to continue to push that stuff on our IG page. And just if I can note this one more time, we're looking for some digital content creators. Everything you see in our, on our IG page is created by you, our students, our peers, our youth. So we're looking for more of you to join. There we go, there goes our IG page. We're looking for more of you to join our digital content creator team so you can create these uh, uh, all of these digital images you see here and also get paid while doing it. It's work experience while you're in high school. I can't put any, I can't say it any other way. It's work experience while you're in high school, you're getting paid to do it. So make sure to scan our QR code and we're gonna post this on our IG page as well and sign up for our digital content creator uh, position. We're looking for you, we need you. Okay, we said we were gonna keep you at an hour and I went over by one minute, I apologize, but hey, you know, one minute's fine. Thank you everyone, all of the schools that are on, Western, uh, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, uh, West, uh, let's see, West Broward, uh, Hallandale, every school that joined us, thank you so much. We appreciate it. This concludes the first Student Success Network of the school year. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again next month. Take care, everyone, and thank our speakers again. Thank you, speakers, for joining us and sharing your information. Students, make sure to sign up for those uh, for that tutoring service, all right? Make sure to sign up. Have a great day, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your week and weekend. Stay dry.